Good late afternoon, almost evening everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Coming to you from 7,000 feet here in the White Mountains Sholo area here at my off-grid property out here. We are going to be talking about these shrubs, these junipers that are all over the property and, and, and the big change that's going on. I do still have a full camp over here, which you will see, but these are what they look like. They kind of just look like weeds. They, they're just crazy and they're, and, they, and they're very susceptible to having pack rat nests inside like this one over here. See this one in here, we'll get a little closer. You can see that big mound of nest back in, in the roots, in, in the base of it. That's where pack rats are collecting stuff. And so uh, in order to combat that, I uh, hired some help, and as you can see, this is the aftermath of several of those trees all cut up, all the stuff that was going on crazy underneath. They almost look like manicured trees, and this area is going to look a lot different too. Look at this huge pine tree. Yes, you do not have to be in Pine Top to have pine trees out here. I have a couple. They were just so bombarded with all these other shrubs and junipers that you couldn't see them. And this one is absolutely gorgeous, guys. The tallest pine tree on my property. It's gonna produce some pine cones here, probably later this season, because now it's getting all this sunlight, and it's just straight as an arrow. A beautiful, beautiful sight here. I love pine trees. I'm tickled to death that we keep finding them, you know, buried inside these. Uh, Homer has been working his butt off. I hired him to come out here and lollipop all, all of these junipers. He'll come in and he'll... <laughs> There's another one right there. See, to the naked eye, you really almost can't see him. This is a juniper. That right there is a pine tree. So this needs to be cut out so this pine tree can, can uh, prosper here. But yeah, Homer has uh, been using my little electric chainsaw, my little Ryobi chainsaw, until it died. I mean, literally, he was going to keep going. And I just, this, this open area here, we'll go out to the driveway here also. Because I certainly couldn't have walked through right here before. Look at that! It just looks so much better than those big blobs, you know? See these ones out by the road? That's, that's what they look like if they, if they haven't been trimmed the way Homer's been doing them. Not going to have them mess with these because... I think they kind of act as privacy for the property a little bit. I don't care, but the rest of them, like these two right here on the side of the uh, truck that I'm, that's on loan from uh, Paul and Darcy, and then these two over here, look how nice that looks. We've also spread some rock. I've had uh, help from the kids, uh, Dana and Steve's kids. Everybody's really been, been shoveling and raking and mixing up the rock here, so. This is another area over here on the other side of Bay Baboo Box, and it just completely transforms the property, guys. I love it. We're working on a little walkway through here, so... Then also, this back section uh, behind the hot tub. Homer cleared about eight more trees back here as well. And it's so nice. Not to mention all the rock is finally officially spread. There are no more mounds of rock on the property, thank goodness. Then here's some of the gang over here. Again, my, my favorite tree that uh, Homer's been cutting and Ethan's been hauling away branches for us. Now we can walk underneath this beautiful, this is the tallest juniper tree on the property here. I love it. I know you guys are gonna ask, so how's Tig doing? <laughs> He's chowing down this little Aww. He loves his chew toys. Does he look bigger? We're gonna, we're gonna take him on a walk here in a little bit, but just wanted to show all of this. Homer, this looks awesome. Yeah. This this tree turned out really, really well, man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. We've been uh, hanging out here, watching movies, listening to music, playing games, and just having fun out here at night. Yes, we're having a great time uh, with our wonderful it was fun doing that game. I appreciate y'all. I love it. I love it here. I'll cut back in here in a little bit, and we'll show how all the lights look on the property here, out. too. We might never leave. All right, I have some good news about Tig. We are now one week accident-free inside the RV. That's awesome. He's doing really well. Classes are going well. He is a crazy kangaroo, but, but he's doing really well. He's learned to sit, and he learns to heal and stay by me. And uh, he's a handful, guys, but I'm loving him. The kitties are doing really well, too. We're going to go talk to them right now. Tig, is that your crate? 
He's been doing really well. He's not afraid of the crate anymore because I, I, I usually feed him his breakfast and dinner inside the crate. So that's why he's good in the car when we have the crate in the car because, uh, you know, I don't want him running around in the car or the, or the truck drives. But he's fine with the, with the crate. Opie, are you fine with the puppy? Yeah, Opie does really well. I can have Opie on one lap or like one side of my lap and then Tig will be on the other and Opie puts up with it as long as he doesn't get too crazy. Opie's doing really well and Tara, well, Tara puts up with Tig, that's for sure, but she's not in love with him yet and she doesn't play. So that's our update. But for just being one week into this, I still think that the three of them are doing really, really well. I said it was going to take a full month before we can all be on the same couch and kind of be normal together. Of course, with a puppy going crazy and him having his little kangaroo fits, you know, it, it's really easy for the kitties to jump up to a higher spot when they need to just... Dude, this, this dog's stressing me out. So, But yeah, it's, it's going well. Dog life is awesome. Oh, you like that flower toy that Frank and Tammy got you? And Wilson and Zelda, is that your favorite? You tug of war, Arr. can you growl? Arr. 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 <laughs> He's kind of growling. Oh, you win. Oh, you're so strong, you win. Yeah, good job, Tig. Wow, I can't compete with that. Oh, my, where are you going? <laughs> he loves his crate, <laughs> which is fine because he needs to use it sometimes when I'm just not able to, you know. Oh, I can have it? Thank you. That's me growling. I'm trying to teach him how to growl and bark and, and, and everything. He's just a puppy. Oh, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Okay, you win. Yep, you just, you, you defeated me. And then he takes it to my foot to destroy it. Okay. All right, dude. All right. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go outside and run some laps. Tick, tick. I'm gonna go run some laps. Can I have it? 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 Please. It's mine. I want it. I want it. Cute little puppy teeth. Okay, you win. Good job. You beat me. Good job. Okay, okay. Right, ready? Ready? Go. You gotta sleep tonight. Okay. Are you tired already? <laughs> Come on. Good boy, Tig. Those classes are working, huh? Yeah, we're doing good. Let's get some water. No, we're gonna correct you and go this way. This way. Good boy. What a little fuzzy butt. What a good fuzzy butt. Go get those kitties. Go get those kitties. No, kitties are this way. <laughs> Tig. <laughs> kitties are this way. Come on. This way. Get that Opie. Get the Opie. Yeah. Play with him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> See, Opie can just easily get away. I'm sorry, honey. You're doing so good. Tig, you're doing good too. You're doing awesome. I have absolutely no regrets. I just have so much love to give right now, and I got so much time to give that it just it just makes so much sense to expand the family. And dogs are awesome. You guys have been keeping it from me a long time. Cats are great, but dogs, they have a whole new kind of love to give that's just so sweet and so awesome. I am just in love with how this yard is, is turning out. We won't be here much longer. We are going to have my first official housewarming no property warming party here gonna have a bunch of people a lot of people here as part of this video hopefully tomorrow night so um i'm gonna start doing my nightly routine which is we'll put the cover on the pool i'm gonna turn off the things that i don't need inside babe blue babe the blue box and lock that up lock up the garage tomorrow is trash day so trash can needs to go out we we filled it up with with, with uh, us here this one week so glad i have that and uh, yeah. All right, it's just starting to get dark here. I'm turning some of the lights on out here. Let me go turn the uh, KFC sign on here. Yeah, still gotta lock that up. But yeah, there's the Colonel all lit there. <laughs> Looking good. And uh, by the way, because I had a lot of people asking, yes, I do fly the American flag all day and night. And I do have my outdoor solar light right here. It's not dark yet, but this uh, provides light on the flag all night long, just so you know.
So the, uh, the, the tree lights here under my favorite tree just turned on also. And this is a really neat spot here. But we do need to work on this gravel here because we're getting some gnats through here. Of course, why are, they, why are they doing that? I don't know. But yeah, we're getting some biting bugs through here. So we're going to fix all this in here later. This will be the future of fire pit out here, hopefully. I just love how these little solar lights light up the whole camp. And this is our, this is our little camping area under here. It's nice. It's peaceful. Sometimes we've been rocking out and playing games and being rowdy too, but yeah. Yeah. So something to, to try to combat the mosquitoes, the biting flies and gnats and stuff. You see that purple light over there? That's my bug zapper and uh, it works really, really well. It, a lot of people like to put it right where they're camping. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to put it far away to lure the animals and this one here this one's rated for one acre coverage. Well, I have one acre of property here, so that's perfect. We'll get them all over here to get them zapped, and then we can enjoy a bug-free area, I don't know, 20, 30 yards away. There's one. <laughs> yeah, not bad. It keeps camp a little more pleasant at night. Also, since uh, Homer worked on all those trees, getting scaring away all the pack rats, I am happy to report that all of these traps have not gone off for three days in, in, in a row. So no mouse activity. And uh, again, I know I made fun of people who put their hoods up because somebody told them to, but I'm telling you, it absolutely will save your engine and your wiring and everything. The, the, these lights that shine up, the, the solar lights. But yeah, as far as all, all my mouse traps, nothing anymore, they're gone. We chased them away to the neighbors. So that's good. The uh, KFC sign though, it, it makes me smile. I have had a lot of people asking me in the comment sections of previous videos, what's with that sign? What does it mean? Why do you, why do you have it and why do you like it? What, what's its purpose? I like it, <laughs> period. I actually like KFC a lot. I, I go there, I went there today for lunch and uh, had the two piece. Um, I almost started uh, collecting KFC things back before I started doing Harley stuff. So, uh, and it's the only thing that I brought, big item wise, from the shop in Illinois when I left the shop in Illinois. Um, I sold all of my arcade games and my pinballs, all of my neon signs. I sacrificed a lot, I sold a lot. But, but here's the thing, maybe I haven't actually explained this in my videos. All the proceeds from all of the arcades and neons and collectibles that I had at the shop, is why I have this property today. That's that's how I that's how I paid for this property and why I have this base camp. So I feel like I was able to invest one hobby uh, into another thing that has given me a whole new kind of enjoyment out, out of life. And so this KFC sign, every time I look at it, it reminds me of what I treated at the shop for dirt, land, off-grid property, uh, something something that I could have an actual deed to dirt uh, in a sunny area and so when I see this KFC sign I, I physically smile and, and I and I say Eric good job yeah I, I think you did that well Eric all right we got the projector up here tonight we're gonna do some racing uh, four player racing here with a uh, cruise and blast on the Nintendo switch this should be fun and we're off here yep <laughs> I'm laughing near you, not at you. Not at you. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Look at that. Hey, no cheating. Yeah, I did. Just to show you how, how things are, are working here when they're working their best. I got a microwavable meal in the microwave. Opie, Tara, right here at my shoulder. But again, she won't even cross behind me to go to the other side. She won't. She needs to be by me, but she won't cross. <laughs> Because she knows Tig's right here on this side of me. <laughs> so this is that weird, uh, perfect harmony that the three of us share here on a jackknife sofa. And uh, it, it, it works for us for right now. I'm going to be clearing this off so things work, work better. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. That's where, that's where we're at here. All right, we're going to be uh, grilling later here. But uh, Dana and Hope and I put our minds together and... Uh, we're building a little special area for Tig around the tree. So I brought over his fence and then his yeah. other crate to uh, hook these together. And, and then right he has shade and sun and he can do laps around the tree here in a safe area and still be part of the party. 
So let's see how he likes it. Fuzzy butt incoming. There you go. What do you think? Look, you can go this way. There he goes. He's figuring it out. Look at all that room you got. And then this crate kennel is open also with another side door right here so I could fix his water and stuff or put a little bed in there. So what do you bed, think, like, Tig? Back there. That's what the bottom. And that way his food, dad can just set his food right there. There okay. we go. Yeah. Perfect. No, Banjo, that's not your den. <laughs> you have the whole yard. You I like that. Space. Good creative work, guys. And now you can dig a little more for me. Thank you, Tig. Are you a happy boy now? You can stay close and go wherever you want. He's been digging a few little holes. It's not super hot here. It's definitely warmer inside the RV than it is outside right now. So that's, that's a good little use of this area. I'm really happy with it and I can keep an eye on him. Yeah, because he likes to be naughty sometimes and run off. You know, yeah, he has his puppy moments. It's a good boy though. All right, gonna turn the grill on here in about 15 minutes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have Steve be the uh, grill master here for uh, burgers here, and uh, I got I got Hope and uh, Ethan over here helping. We were finally putting down this astroturf. I had tried it over by the RV, but I never sit over there because it's always sunny. So we're gonna we're gonna put all four rolls here in the uh, tree tree area here, and that'll be a nice place so that the doggies and the kitties will have a nice place to sit down and not be on dirt or rocks. And uh, uh, Tig is napping right now, so he'll probably wake up and be super hyper as soon as everybody gets here when the food gets going. But um, hopefully we'll have some other uh, puppies here joining us pretty soon. Tig, is your friend here? It's Zelda, Zelly. Man, she's getting big though. Goodness, compared to Tig. Hey, Wilson. How we doing? Yeah, <laughs> puppy burgers. Yeah, yeah. We got Steve over here, grill master. Thank you, buddy. Oh yeah. Grilling the burgers and dogs and... And uh, yeah, we're all hanging out here. Nice shade. Heck yeah. Okay, we got Tig over there playing, crying a little bit, and Steve over here on the on the on the grill. It smells good. I mean, it really, really smells good. We're getting there. Thanks, man. Smoked sausage, some dogs. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Some refried beans here for for dip. Yep. Oh my gosh, Tig's getting a lot of exercise here with Zelly. <laughs> well, you know, Tig's holding her own, his own. He's, he's trying. He's loud, that's for sure. You okay? You gonna wear yourself out? Okay. Look at Wilson staring up at the RV. Look who it is, Opie. <laughs> Wilson wants to talk to you. He wants to play with you. He really wants you to come out, Opie. Where's Tara? You wanna play with the kitty? You want to play with the kitty? What are you doing, Zelly? Tig, Tig, Hello. having fun? Stay close. Flame broiled here. Oh yeah. Woo wee. <laughs> All right, we got the whole group here. How cool is this? And I gave Tig to Wes here. He's tired. He's tired. Oh, you gave Tig to Wes. Yeah. Oh, now he's gonna get wild again. <laughs> yep. All the puppies are. Yeah, let him go. See if he wants to play. <laughs> Get him, Tig. Where are you going? You gave him to Wes. He is the smallest puppy here, but look at these two monsters playing. You know, you know, your sister's gonna be bigger than you soon, right? Yeah, enjoy it. There we go, got me a cheeseburger. You want one with cheese on it? Oh, ground? No. Thank you, Steve, it's real good. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, look who else joined me. Dan and Emily from uh, Gridless and Grounded and little Bodai over there. This is awesome, meeting new friends. It's been nice getting to know you guys. Absolutely. Glad we finally made it happen. Again, you wanna check them out, I'll put a link in the video description, Gridless and Grounded. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. That <laughs> camp was really, really full there for a second. And I learned how important it's gonna be to finish this driveway over here so we can park more cars and RVs. Before the end of the summer, I'm going to get this loop done, adding five more campsites on the, the west part of the property up there. Uh, but yeah, um, actually, what I gotta work on tonight is uh, packing up. Now, I've, I've already disconnected the propane line from the propane tank 
and I gotta finish some stuff. We are gonna watch a movie tonight too, but I'm leaving. I'm not going on a road trip. So we're gonna be uh, getting the RV back road worthy. And in my, in my next video, we're gonna go on a trip together. So um, yeah, I'll cut back in here in a little bit. We'll get the movie started. Got some Morgan Wallen music videos going right now. Just waiting for it to get dark for the movie. I'll cut back in later. Hi, Opie, how you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy. Yeah, do you wanna tell everybody why you're in your crate right now? Man, I was naughty. Daddy left this gate open right here and I went and ate all the cat food. Even Tara's cat food, right, Tara? And you weren't happy about it, huh? I had to refill their bowls. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're getting started. We're gonna watch uh, 65 with Adam Driver here. We got a little fire going there and uh, Dana made popcorn for everybody. So um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy the movie here. Heck yeah. All right, well, it's late, guys. It is midnight 30, and I'm still packing up stuff here, but I've got my alarm set for 6 a.m. to roll out in Frida with Opie, Tara, and Tig for our first official uh, road trip. It's gonna be a little different than, than the last five weeks of homesteading here. Oh, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna change things up, so I hope you uh, join me. It's gonna be fun. We will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.